Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, I would like to talk about my first impressions of the multiplayer of Battlefield 5. Now I've played a little bit of it, I think I probably played around maybe 6 to 10 hours of the multiplayer of this game. And I can already say it's better than Battlefield 1, 100%. Um, I've unlocked some weapon specializations and I can say that they really do affect the gameplay. Like, I thought it was just going to be little bonuses that really was just their excuse to not, to just not put in attachments or something, or maybe just, you know, specializations to say, oh, look, there's weapon progression in this game, you know? But they, I think they really did a good job with the weapon progression in this game, and it, like, um, um, one of the guns that I've been using a lot of is the MG34 on support, which is actually a gun they did really good with, um, it's a mounted LMG, so you have to mount it to aim down sights, and they balanced it really well. And I specialized it to kind of be more of a, let's, it's more of a attack type, or hold a point, basically more flexible. Um, and I sacrificed it for that reload buff, you know, so I have the belt fed thing. And it really made an impact to how I play the game, you know. Instead of just um, kind of trying to figure out the gun, you know, I have a, a role that I like to play with it. And now I can, you know, use it for what I want it to. And I figured out the way that I like to play. So then I specialized into it. And it works, you know. The sniper rifle, the Lee Enfield, it kept my beta progress with the sniper. So I'm immediately going into... I, I, I love uh, more aggressive, fast-paced sniping. And I specialized it into that. And it, it works very well. So my impressions of specializations is, right now, none of them feel really overpowered, I would say. And it just feels like it it gives you a reason to play the way that you play it, almost. Um, I noticed that with the lack of battle packs, you know, not the, the random boxes you get every so often, I'm super happy because I'm spending less time getting these crappy rewards. And actually, like, I feel like I, I'm in control of what I'm earning. And I'm spending less time opening boxes and more time playing the game. And I love, I'm, I'm having a great time with it. Um, they added more vehicles. You know, the vehicles are great. I, I, the progression in the game, I really, really like the progression in the game. With your level and you're unlocking stuff through your level, which is the vehicles. Um, and then you're unlocking the weapons through, you know, using the class like before. Just the progression in the game is really good. The gameplay, um... Is like it's like it should be. There was the beta gameplay, then there's this gameplay, and the, this gameplay is better than the beta gameplay. You know, they have all their modes, and I feel like Frontlines was improved a lot. That's so far been my favorite mode, which is really weird because I didn't like Frontlines in Battlefield One because it took way too long. But this time, the Frontlines mode is really fun, and I like that they made the operations for from Battlefield One just kind of its own separate game mode, and then they made Grand Operations. Which I haven't played a lot of Grand Operations. The one I played I didn't like, but that was just because I think my teammates weren't really doing squad play. And that's a really big thing in this game is they really nailed squad play and working together and using the fortification system, actually. Like, using the fortifications is very meaningful. It's really weird. Like, I remember there was this, there's on this one map, I like dug a trench. It was the map with the bridge, and I don't remember the name. It's called, like, Twisted Metal or something like that. And there's there was, like, a house, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to build a defensive trench. And I built it, and it gave me some cover to fight off the initial enemies. And then when I backed off, I, I could use it as bait for them. And they would get baited into the trench, and then they would hide in the trench, and I'd know where they were, you know? So using the fortifications in different ways was really nice. And sometimes, you know, I would say the times when fortifications weren't used and the teammates weren't working together and doing their roles was when the game just felt like Battlefield 1. It wasn't really fun. And now, if with teammates working together, it feels great. There's only one so far overpowered weapon I found, which is the M1A1 Carbine. It does a lot of damage. And the recoil control on it's really good. Like, just saying. That's the overpowered weapon I found, but I just, I feel like, I feel like I'm unlocking things and also progressing and getting better at the game all at really good paces. 
at least at the first impressions. I don't know about metas and, you know, meta setups and stuff like that. And I haven't been really using the planes. I've used the planes and tanks a little bit. I actually really like them. In this game, there's not, they're like, the multiplayer, I just like. Um, although, there's a couple maps that I'm getting really bored of right now. And I think it's just because there's not a lot of maps in this game. There's only eight maps in this game for multiplayer. And it really doesn't do good for the game. Like, there's only eight maps. The co-op mode isn't there until December 6th, which I, I guess is okay. I really kind of wish it was in the game now because I would love to, I would like to actually play the co-op mode because of the sour taste the campaign left in my mouth. There's no practice range, which is kind of strange, but okay, there's no practice range. But I mean, overall, it's just, it's just like they took Battlefield 1, kept everything good about it, and then bumped it up a little bit. I kind of still wish there was some things like, I, I would say Battlefield 4 is the pinnacle of a good Battlefield game because there's a lot of specialization you could do. And it wasn't just like, it wasn't just the weapon customization, it was how meaningful it was. If you got rid of the battle packs in Battlefield 4, I would, that game would be amazing. Right now, some of it, there's not a lot of unique moments in Battlefield 4 anymore, but still, like, the best, like, I wish there was a little more customization. I kind of wish, here's what I wish. Vehicle customization, I haven't gotten into, but I like that there's the three columns instead of two. If there was two customization, or three for guns, that would be amazing. Because, like, right now, with the guns that I can think of, the guns that I actually like to use, like, there's only, I think it's the tier three specializations that you end up getting locked into. Uh, yeah, or maybe it's some of them, it's the tier four. But I feel like there, there's room for even more specialization. And maybe a perk system too. Battlefield 1 had a crappy perk system, let's be real. But I, I feel like there's the specializations of classes which I haven't gotten into yet, but so far, I'm excited to get into them. And then also, I, I feel like maybe a perk system of like, like five, ten perks, I don't know. Um, just to kind of be able to specialize yourself more. Maybe there's, um, instead of having the two like overall perks for every class, there's like, um, you know, the two... I know they're going to add more, but the, there's the specializations, and then there's perks for every class, unique to every class that you can add. I would love just deep, deep meta. Like, this game feels... I will say this. The first impressions, I really like the gameplay. However, the game as a whole feels almost empty, per se. It feels like the Battlefield 1, not the beta, but the 10 hours before when you could only play half of it. It feels like that. And so, my thing is, first impressions... With what they have, and I hate saying this, I hate it when I have to say this, but I'm hopeful that the game will get better later on. With what they have, it's really, really fun. And I just hope that they add more to the game. I'm, I'm, the only negative I see is there's not enough here. It's there's not enough. Uh, for, to make it uh, a $60 game, you know? So that's what I have to say about it. That, and there's this typical issues if no one knows how to use their roles yet. So the, all, the gameplay is kind of getting jumbled up into more TDM style stuff. I think once the game is out for a month, everyone's going to kind of play their roles more. But I mean, there's just, you can see the missed potential when you play this game. I only played this game, like I said, about 10 hours in the multiplayer. Six to 10, I don't know exact numbers. But I could tell you, there's missed potential here. And they need, to, they need to revamp it fast. So that's what I think. First impressions of Battlefield 5, that's what I think about it. I would love to know what you think in the comments below. What have you seen? What are you excited for? Why isn't Rush in this game on launch? I have no idea. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode of stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.